Hi guys, it is another muggy, soupy day here in the end times in paradise up here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, good lord, guys, I have, I, I think I might have broke something the past two days. I am barely moving today. So, uh, Alistair, if you're listening, uh, aren't you supposed to be up here working this week, brother? Oh, yes, it is Wednesday, I don't know where the hell we are, June 9th, 2021. So, uh, anyway, before I figure out how to go give myself a hernia today, I'm just going to procrastinate and uh, check out a couple of emails now. I'm assuming my buddy Max over there, and I uh, haven't heard from Max for a while uh, over there. Where do you live, Max? In Finland. But we have heard from Max, who, uh, let's see, what is on Max's mind today? Uh, where is the Ernest Hemingway of the 2020s? All right, anyway, Hambone, take care and try to dig yourself out of that whine mode. You were much funnier in your other modes. At least give us a good rant or an essay reading instead of these me, me loops. My response to Max. <clears throat> In case you guys have not noticed this, Humpty Dumpty Tribe has pretty much devolved into a never-ending whine channel, particularly since Don Quixote was formerly rebuffed by Dulcinea, if you can call being ghosted by that fucking bitch, quote, formally rebuffed. The Doomer porn rants have been moved over to Collapse Chronicles, where some upstart pretty boy from Australia is doing his best to dethrone me and so far is succeeding. All right, then of course, I, got, I love it when uh, I get messages from my normie friends. This was, we will call her Lulu, uh, down in North Carolina. Lulu was the last normie friend I stayed with on my trip back from Florida, you know, when I was hauling around all of those uh, goddamn tomato plants. She, uh, I think she got away with a couple of my tomato plants and some peppers. So Lulu is checking in. I uh, have not heard from Lulu in a month. Uh, we're just going to read a few choices. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I, I guess her cherry tomato plant was eaten by some little critter. Yes, okay, but, <clears throat> all right. I would love to know the ins and outs of you getting busted in Florida. Any resolution to that yet? How is it going with the new gal in camp. I'm needing an update on you and your crazy good time life. Yes, just back from my first music festival. Ah, uh, it was so good to return to that scene. <coughs> yes, uh, not sure if I can heft my upright base into the back seat of the truck. But there could be worse problems in life than that. <laughs> yes, there could. If your biggest problem in life is figuring out how to heft your upright base into the back seat of it, I don't know why you don't just put your base in the truck. But anyway, this was my response to uh, <clears throat> to Lulu the normie. <clears throat> Lulu, thank you 
for your unintentionally cruel and hilariously ironic check-in with me. Obviously, you do not watch Humpty Dumpty Tribe, or you would know a grand total of two of those fucking tomato plants barely survived their snowbird journey. <clears throat> yes, we have not had one single person show up at the hip camp in New York. Meanwhile, obviously, the one in Florida is defunct. I have no clue how that clusterfuck is going to pan out. I have 35 grand sunk into that pit. I think this link will update you on how it is going with my new gal at camp. Yes. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy watching this rant as much as I enjoyed making it. Other than that, and I, and I sent her the link to a depressed doomsday lonely heart has a showdown between his heart, his brain, and his dick. <clears throat> Other than that, it is a gorgeous day here in the end times, and Sancho is having the time of his life hunting frogs in the ponds. They are his new crabbies. So uh, I'm glad to update my normie friends. And, uh, so anyway, guys, I don't know how long I'm going to be going on the Dulcinea rant. I have uh, the Dulcinea whine. I'm sorry, Max, for correcting me. The Dulcinea whine. You, you know, uh, Don Quixote devoted. You know, his entire uh, journey, his entire fool's journey was devoted to his mythical Dulcinea, who had absolutely zero interest in, in joining him on his fool's journey. Uh, so does life imitate art or otherwise? At some point, I'm going to get bored with myself, but uh, right now this channel is dedicated to Dulcinea. Anyway, but as long as you're asking for a rant, guys, now somehow uh, I managed not to breathe one word when that sub-Saharan African woman from Mali, it was like two weeks ago, we were reading that a new world record had been broken that this uh, clueless uh, breeder in Mali uh, had nine children, nine kids, um, breaking a, a new record. Now, I guess there were a couple of other women who had had nine babies, but I guess they all died. But it appears, much to the joy of these articles a couple of weeks ago, that these nine babies are all going to make it so we can keep that uh, migrant stream. Uh, alive. But now that that record from about two weeks ago has already been shattered as we return to Sub-Saharan Africa where we see South African woman gives birth to 10 babies. All right! So that nine baby uh, record has been smashed two weeks after it was set. <clears throat> a South African woman has reportedly given birth to 10 babies in what would be a new world record. I cannot make up this woman's name. Her name is Gosiame Thamara <laughs> Sithol. Her, her, <laughs> Her name is, her last name is S-I-T-H-O-L-E, Gosami Sithole. You know, I, I think maybe, uh, you know, Donald Trump 
taking all of this crap, talking about uh, those shithole countries and sub saharan I think he was saying sithole. Uh, I, I just uh, could only imagine, you know, going through life with the last name Sithole. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I think her husband should have aimed for the sit hole, and maybe, uh, maybe we would not have a new record being broken. Yes, Gosami Thamara sit hole's husband said they were astonished by the deck couplets, D E C U P L E T S. They were astonished by the deck couplets after scans only showed eight in the womb. I guess the woman herself was speechless, so according to her husband, Tiboho, uh, quote, it's seven boys and three girls. I am happy. I am emotional. I cannot talk much. I bet you can't, brother. Uh, Guinness World Records told the BBC it was investigating Miss Sithole's case. Yes, a woman who had eight babies in the U.S. in 2009, you remember the famous Octo Mom. I'm pretty sure the Octo Mom uh, ended up on welfare. I'm pretty sure that the U.S. taxpayers, how old are those kids? They were born in 2009. They are now 12 years old. I'm pretty sure that the U.S. taxpayers have been, uh, have been uh, paying the bills to raise those eight children for the past 12 years. And I guess now, thanks to Corona Panic, that the Octo Mom, didn't they just raise the child, the, the, you know, something through the IRS where you do get, you have been getting $2,000 per child as a reward uh, for having more babies. I think because of the Corona panic, it's being raised, what was Brother Aaron just saying? Uh, between three thousand and three thousand six hundred dollars so uh, per kid. So the octo mom uh, will put twenty four thousand dollars of taxpayers' money into her pocket, I guess, this year, thanks to Corona panic, in addition to the other. Uh, but we're not here to talk about the Octo Mom. We're here to talk about the proud mother, Ms. Sithole. Ms. Sithole. Okay, so the Octo Mom currently holds the official record because they didn't get time to update it uh, when just a couple of weeks ago, 25-year-old Halima Sisse from Mali uh, gave birth to nine babies who were all reportedly doing well. Yes. Um, multiple births involving more than three babies are rare and often the result of fertility treatments, but in this case, the couple say they conceived the 10 babies naturally. Miss Sithole, age 37, has previously given birth to twins who are now six years old. Yes. Uh, speaking to the press a month ago, Ms. Sithole said her pregnancy was, quote, tough at the beginning and said she had prayed for a healthy birth with many a sleepless night worrying about what was to come. Yes. Uh, uh, 
Oh, God. Her husband said he was over the moon and felt like, quote, one of God's chosen children. It is a miracle, which I appreciate. There you go. Isn't that so we have now? Oh, and we also want to uh, welcome Megan and Harry's daughter, Megan and Harry, uh, who is no longer princess and prince. I guess they got booted out of the royal family or walked out. Anyway, they have welcomed in a bouncing baby girl. And you better believe uh, the country of England is in full joyous celebration. I don't know, is this kid going to be considered a royal or just a regular little planet nibbler? So, Andy the gardener, uh, do you have uh, some news from England about there? What was uh, Andy's speaking of uh, the mailbag? Uh, what was Andy's comments today on, uh, let's see, this was Andy's comment on bride kidnapping. <clears throat> A bride can only be technically kidnapped on her wedding day, otherwise it's just kidnapping. <clears throat> Still, <clears throat> it has given me an idea of what to do today. And then his comment about, you know, uh, where, who is basically grieving for all the unborn babies. <clears throat> Taking away Andy. Seven thumbs up to this comment I see, Andy. My dream is a world where billions of non-existing capitalists sell billions of non-existing cars and holidays to billions of non-existing customers. That is the Andy the Gardener dream and we really are uh, <clears throat> planning to bring Andy on the show. Sandy and I are going to tag team on that interview, but I just got an email from Sandy. I guess uh, she says she's taking a couple of weeks off uh, at Environmental Coffee House and has shelved all interviews for the time being. So uh, we'll have to figure this out, but I will keep you posted. Anyway, I got to wrap this up because I have to go over to Collapse Chronicles where uh, Sam Mitchell is going to uh, <clears throat> review the new uh, okay, Netflix welcome. documentary <clears throat> called, what was the title of this? Breaking Boundaries, The Science of Our Planet. But as much as Hambone Littletail wants to do that review, and maybe I will, I'm going to say, I'm going to put that over Collapse Chronicles <clears throat> and maybe come back with my own review a little later. Bye, guys.